Vectors for Physics, lecture number three. Converting from polar to component form. Let's look at the vector below 5, 50 degrees that is in polar form but has been placed on the Cartesian coordinate system. That is, the length of this vector is 5 units and it is at an angle of 50 degrees from the initial side of the x axis. It is clear that x and y, that, it, that the x and y we are looking for is at the head of this vector. So we're looking for this x and y so in order to convert it to component form. And so what we do is we think, well, cosine of 50 degrees is uh, x over 5, isn't it? And if we solve for x, we find that x equals 5 cosine 50, or uh, 3.214. Sine of 50 is y over 5, and we solve for y and we find y equals 5 sine 50, which is approximately 2.820. Thus, 5 comma 50 degrees polar form is approximately 3.21 comma 3.82 in uh, component form. And our general conversion equations for any x and y, if you have both r and theta, are x equals r cos and theta, and y equals r sine theta. So you don't have to figure it out each time. You've got nice equations there. Converting from component form to polar form. Below is a vector uh, in component form, and we want to convert, the, convert this to polar form. Uh, r theta, that is here it is, we know the head of the vector is at negative 4 and 6 and we want to change it to, we want to find out what theta is and what r is. So we drop an altitude down from the head of the vector to the x-axis, this is the x-axis here, and boy that should be better, shouldn't it? And we realize, r e a, we realize that the length of the vector is the hypotenuse of this right triangle, right? with sides of length 4 and 6. So we found r pretty quickly. r is just the square root of 4 squared plus 6 squared, the square root of 50, or <coughs> uh, uh, 5 times the square root of 2. Now, if we, we have theta reference here, this is the reference angle for this bigger angle theta. If we take the tangent inverse of 6 over negative 4 in absolute value will find the reference angle. In fact, that's how you, you do find the uh, angle. <clears throat> and so we, have, we get approximately 56.3 degrees, which implies that theta is, of course, you, had, you, you would take 180 and subtract this 56.3 from it, you get 123.7 degrees, and that's the actual theta. You can tell from the point what, what quadrant the actual vector is in because uh, obviously a negative number and a positive, a negative x and a positive y will be in the second quadrant, etc. And you can determine that. Or a component form of the vector, uh, negative 4, comma 6, is 5 times the square root of 2 in length and 123.7 degrees. So we have translation equations, and they are that r is the square root of x squared plus y squared, and theta reference is the tangent inverse of y over x, okay, um, in absolute value. 